It's the start of a new month, and that means the summaries from Super's upcoming episodes just dropped, and with those comes the reveal of the episode's staff. Fair warning to anyone trying to avoid spoilers, while I obviously keep pretty much all story details under wraps, I do need to contextualise the staff just a little bit to give reasonable thoughts and predictions, so here's your warning, if you don't want to know anything at all, then click away, but if you're okay with knowing very tiny things, then you'll be just fine, so let's get underway. Episode 115, as we saw in the NEP last week, has Goku facing off against Keifla. This is written by Toshio Yoshikata, who who is currently my favourite writer on the show. Almost all of his episodes throughout the tournament have managed to address my biggest issue with this arc, and that's the episodic nature of many of these episodes. Despite the format being this giant battle royale, many episodes are framed as standalone 1v1s, which don't really allow for any weaving of storylines or teamwork. In Yoshikata's recent episodes like 104, 107, and 112, there's a real emphasis on different characters, but at the same time there's a clear goal to the episode so it never feels unfocused. This sounds like a 1v1, but there's a mention of other universes formulating plans, so hopefully we get some interesting cutaways. I would not be surprised if this somehow leads to the Namekians fusing, or even just those robots going full Power Rangers. It's directed by Takahiro Imamura, who's a pretty competent director. They worked on Z and GT back in the day, and their episodes since joining Super have mostly been pretty decent. He seems to do a very good job of making episodes with limited animation look quite interesting. I think episode 106 was probably the most recent example of that. Yoshikata Yoshima is storyboarding the episode. Like I've said in the past, he has a real knack for that, so I'm not too worried on that front. He has his own episode coming up though, so hopefully this wasn't too rushed. Animation-wise, this is being supervised by Osamu Ishikawa and Hiroyuki Itai. They're both pretty great at sticking to the character sheets, though they certainly have their own unique quirks. I think as far as pair Pairings go, they should blend pretty nicely, so you'll be looking at a nice and consistent episode, assuming nothing's gone wrong behind the scenes. Neither of them have demonstrated a forte for actual animation as opposed to simple art corrections, so I think the quality of any action will depend very heavily on who the key animators are. I'm expecting a well-written and interesting looking episode from this one, but I wouldn't go in under any illusions that it'll blow your mind. On to 116, this is written by Atsuhiro Tomioka. The summary for this episode is pretty packed with spoilers, so of course I won't touch on any details in those, but I will say that Tomioka is a great writer and should be perfect for what's happening here. This episode is directed by Makoto Sonoda, who's still very, very new to Super, only ever directing one episode before in 101. I really enjoyed the direction in that episode though, it hit all the right notes for me, nothing felt too forced during the emotional moments and the action had just the right gravitas. This will be his first time storyboarding his own episode in Super, so I'm pretty excited to see what he brings to the table. It's being supervised by Yoichi Onishi and Shuichiro Manabe, which sounds great on paper. Onishi's got an interesting style, and Manabe's one of Super's absolute best, but it's only been six weeks since their last episode, and while Onishi might be able to get away with that, I'm slightly worried for Manabe since he also provided key animation on episode 113. He's been pretty busy, so I'm not expecting much from him unless he somehow got superhero speed. I feel like, much like 115, we may be relying on input from the key animators as far as impressive action goes. That's slightly disappointing considering what's actually happening in this episode, so I'm seriously praying to be surprised. Episode 117 then, this is absolutely the weakest episode as far as the staff goes sadly. Not only does it bring about the return of Ribrian, everyone's favourite, it's being written by Super's weakest writer, Yoshifumi Fukushima. Yoshitaka Yoshima is the animation supervisor, who we know is obviously Super's solo animator, so if the rest of the tournament is anything to go by, this will probably have next to no animation, unless he's given one talented action guy to produce a scene or two. The saving grace of this episode, and I really hope it is, is the fact that Kazuya Kurosawa is storyboarding and directing it. I feel like most of the fandom is a bigger fan of him than me, but I'm not going to deny that he does have talent. He directed the first half of the recent special, which was 
pretty good, but I don't know, his episodes just don't seem to shine for me like they do with others. He's certainly not bad, but I think episode 63 is probably the only episode that sticks out to me as being really special. Thankfully, this next one, episode 118, is the big episode to look forward to in the next month. It brings about the return of my current favourite director on Super, Masato Mitsuka. He directed the second half of the special and the return of Frieza. His storyboards are great, he knows how to frame action and build excitement, he's just far and away beyond anyone on the show, aside from probably the series directors Nagamine and Nakamura. It's being supervised by Naoki Tate, this will be his first episode in 8 weeks, so hopefully he's had plenty of time to put together something that'll blow us away. I think the first half of the episode will probably be by Toei Philippines, so I wouldn't expect anything too crazy until the second half, but with Miyako Suji's chief supervision, I probably wouldn't worry too much about any dips in quality before Tate does arrive. It's being written by Hiroshi Yamaguchi, he's still pretty fresh to Super, he only joined the writing staff back in episode 96, but I've mostly enjoyed his work, he wrote the first half of the special and he wrote the episode that we just saw, 114. I think he struggles a little bit with creating interesting character moments, but as far as scripting action goes, I quite like his ideas, they tend to be a little more extravagant than just X and Y exchange blows. This is sure to be a pretty substantial episode, the title is quite dramatic, so like I said, I think this will for sure be the highlight of the month. Lastly, episode 119, this sounds like another game changing episode and it's being written by a brand new writer to Super, Ayumu Hisao. From what I could find, they seem to be quite new to the industry, the earliest credit I could find was from 2012, so I'm not too sure what to expect. I haven't seen any of the shows that he's written in the past, and none of them seem particularly action heavy, so as far as writing goes, it's a bit of a mystery. Direction wise though, Toshiaka Komura is back, this was the Tiger Mask director that I mentioned last month who led episode 111. As I'm sure you know, I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but I kind of feel like judging him entirely on an episode after a gigantic special is probably not very fair. On other shows, he's got a lot of great stuff under his belt, so fingers crossed he can deliver that sort of quality here. It's being supervised partly by Yasuhiro Namatame, who we also saw back on episode 111. He's still too fresh to Super to really ascertain his style, but none of his halves have been very impressive yet. At the very least, Tsutomo Ono is here and joined by one of his teammates, Noboriza Sawaki, who hasn't supervised with Ono since episode 79. Ono's episodes are usually pretty polished and a lot of fun, so if they do deliver, this should be a decent enough episode. But that is it for the stuff this month, like I said, episode 118 is the big one to look forward to, 116 has the potential to be great, and with the exception of 117, it sounds like the others should at the very least be entertaining, if a little forgettable. Let me know your thoughts on these upcoming episodes, which ones are you looking forward to the most, which ones are hopefully better than they sound. Leave a comment down below, don't forget to rate the video and subscribe if you're new. We of course just covered Yu Yu Takahashi's pretty phenomenal episode 114, so if you haven't somehow seen my breakdown of that, be sure to go and check that out. I approached that video quite differently, instead of sort of looking at the animation, I kind of broke down exactly why his style was so interesting, so if that is up your street, do be sure to click the screen and go take a look at that. I just redid all of the graphics on my YouTube homepage too, we finally have official branding, we've moved away from a very lazy screenshot from the show and of course some weird fan art of Videl that I know a lot of people started complaining about recently, so if you wouldn't mind going and looking at that and also leaving me a comment down below letting me know what you thought, that would be fantastic. I'd kind of like to float some ideas around about some sort of Patreon on obviously YouTube and it's this is an ad friendly stuff is very damaging to YouTubers so let me know if that's something you would maybe be interested in contributing to and let me know if there are any sort of features I could be able to offer to make that a little bit more enticing it's just a random idea I'm thinking of as I start to approach this channel full time so hopefully you don't mind me kind of poking around and testing the waters a little bit it'll be very very helpful to know where my audience is at so yeah let me know thank you so much for watching I know I've asked so much of you guys for this video but I'm really interested to hearing some feedback. So once again, thank you so much and I will see you next time.